Hi everybody, it's Divine Mystery, Melissa. And I wanna show you guys real quick, it's raining right now in downtown Cincinnati. That's the Ohio River behind me. And over here we have the famous wheel. And I'm pretty sure it goes to this boat right there. I can't remember the name of her, but I know it's she. And then we got the Cincinnati Red Stadium. We got the Heritage Center. And then we got the Great American Tower with the Princess Diana Tiara on top. Can you see that? It's pretty cool, huh? So, I'm making this video today because... You know, I'm not speaking my truth enough. Um, truth is, I've been through a lot in my 44 years. Um, for the first 13 years of my life, I suffered from sexual, verbal, emotional, mental, physical, abuse almost on the daily and um as i got older it didn't stop it got worse sorry my backpack's falling um and there's nothing that i haven't been through that i can't relate with someone on Especially with the way things have been here lately. The last three years of my life have been nothing short of a living hell, basically. You know, and I walked through those fires with God right by my side. I may smell like smoke, but I'm not burnt. I'm not dead. And I have good health. I have my children, um, I have a car, and I have some clothes. And you know, I'm really grateful for those things because I've had everything in my life taken from me at a minimum of nine times, nine times. Some of that was my own undoing. Um, making bad choices, uh, getting in the wrong crowds, getting with the wrong people, drugs. Um, there isn't a demon that I haven't fought and conquered. It's not been easy, but I have done it and I'm very proud of myself. Um, still battling spiritually. I have a lot of spiritual warfare that I'm battling right now. And, um, you know, everything I've been through has made me stronger and wiser and more confident in myself and more confident in God. Trust, I trust him completely. There's nothing that he hasn't told me that he hasn't come through on yet. Nothing. Hold on one second. There we go. Um... And I'm really grateful for that because these days we need God and we need each other. We need to stop tearing people down. We need to start supporting them, helping them, guiding them, teaching them what to do, where to go, how to handle situations. Um, our world is falling and it's falling fast there's a lot of evil in this world but there's also a lot of good you've got to look at people and see the good in people you've got to see something in them that they don't see in themselves and then try your best to bring that out in them if you can but don't let it harm you or your life you know, you got to have discernment and know 
what you can do and you can learn how to do that by prayer. You know, if you get down on your knees and put your hands in the air and you just ask God to help you and guide you, these things can be done. You don't have to be a light worker. You don't have to be a chosen one. You just gotta be you. And you gotta have some faith. Faith the size of a mustard seed. If you have that, you can conquer anything. I'm a firm believer. And I'm a firm knower. Because, the you know, I've fought God. I've wrestled with God. There's been times when I've had heavy doubt. You know, there were times when I looked at my life and I didn't think there was going to be a light at the end of the tunnel. And there were times that I didn't think that I was going to make it. I didn't think I was going to be be able to be fixed. You know, um, I've been abandoned. I've been talked about, laughed at, made fun of. I've been the butt end of people's jokes for the last three years. And they thought it was funny. They thought it was funny to come against me and laugh at me. Um, laugh at my pain, laugh at my misery, laugh at my suffering. And uh, now they're starting to think it's not so funny anymore. What goes around will come around. The truth will always prevail. Light always wins against darkness. So, if we open our hearts and minds to God and helping each other in creating a world where we can coexist with one another and be happy and joyful and fruitful, it will happen. It will happen. And I know it can because I've seen it work. I was in a place called the Isaiah House. And I was there for, I think, three or four months. And the lives that I was able to help or touch or, I don't know, somebody gained something off of me every day in that place. Just by me being willing to listen and to be a friend and to share my wisdom with other people and share my experiences. You know, you may not think you have something to offer the world, but you do. We all do. And if we all come together collectively and just share our story with one person, we've helped one person. Or that person may go tell somebody else your story and you might help someone without even knowing it. You know, there's things that we can do in this world that are worth doing. They're worth being involved in. Um, I'm going to do a testimony and I'm going to post it online. It's going to be my entire story. Um, I'm also writing a book and I'm, I'm actually writing a couple. I've got a short story book. Um, and then it's not really a story. It's more like experiences. And then I'm writing my testimony. Um, hopefully it'll be done soon. I'm almost done. So, but, um, you know, I want to live in a world where we help build each other up and not tear each other down. I want to live in a world where our government listens to God. You know, and not listen to other leaders or the greed or, you know what I mean? It's Something's got to change. It's time. Judgment Day is here. And a lot of people are going to start losing things that they've worked hard to get and they're going to lose them because they didn't help other people or they didn't share or you don't know, just greed and hate and envy and I just experienced three years worth of 
hate and envy and greed and jealousy and all the things. And at one point it almost consumed me, but then I stood up and I was like, no, I'm not a victim. And this does not own me. It does not make me who I am to let somebody that doesn't care for me win and to let somebody who thought that I was stupid win you know to let somebody who thought that I wasn't good enough win somebody who thought I was expendable tried to kill me tried to take me out multiple times and is continuing to do so still you know, um, they haven't given up and they're not going to until, until God steps in and he's doing it now. So, um, I'm not going to have to worry much longer, but to live a life where you're in fear of what somebody's going to do to you day to day is a little unnerving. So... That's why I surrender, give everything to God, and I let him fight my battles. I let God fight my battles. Because they're his to fight. I know the outcome. I've read the, I've read the Bible. I know what happens. And, you know, it's, it's one of those things where I'm going to get a front row seat to my enemies who tried to harm me and you know I pray for them I pray for them every day I pray that they see God in me I pray that they turn to God and I pray that they ask him for forgiveness and I pray that they seek him with all their heart and soul and I pray that they change for him, for themselves, love themselves. You know, and the sad part is, is that my children are gonna be the ones who suffer the hardest. And that's gonna be the hard part to watch. So, if you guys could keep me in your prayers, keep my kids in your prayers, and just pray that you know, this vindication happens quickly. Um, yeah, so, um, it's kind of a crappy day out, it's still raining. See, the, I don't know if you can see the water on my camera or not, but it's there. Um, and it's really cold, we were supposed to get snow, but I'm not sure if we're going to. Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky, we don't hardly get very much. That's why I am moving out of here as soon as possible. But, um, if you guys could in the comment box, um, leave me your name and where you're from. I want to get to know you guys. And, um, eventually what I would like to see is all the chosen ones, um, and light workers get together and from all over the world and stand up and unite and let's heal this world one person at a time if we got to let's come together let's fight for God fight for good and change the world um, I love you guys it's cold have a good night much love and peace and blessings to you. Oh, let's end with a prayer. I forgot about that. Let's do that. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you right now, Father God. And I just ask that whoever is meant to see this video, Father God, that you pull them to this video, God, and just touch their hearts, touch their souls. Father God, I just, I feel your presence so strongly right now. And I thank you for being here. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for saving my life. Thank you 
thank you, thank you. I pray I never get over what you've done. I pray I never forget. Father God, teach us, guide us, protect us, and keep us strong. Father God, I ask that your will be done in our lives, and I pray that we just keep taking one foot in front of the other, Father God, every day, and bring this world back to you, back to your authority, back to your rules, back to your ways. Father God, and I ask that my enemies, Father God, I just pray for them. I pray for world peace. I pray for all the sick and suffering to be healed. Father God, in your precious name, I pray you cover them with your blood. Father God, I ask that mountains be moved, Father God, and I ask that the people who are trying to stop my blessings and stop my money and cause me harm, Father God, I pray that they be stopped. I pray that everyone's blessings move quickly and swiftly to them, Father God, without hesitation. As it may be your will. As above, so below. Father God, and I just I ask these precious things in your holy, holy name. Amen. Okay, so if you guys are still here and you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Um, leave a comment, drop a purple heart or some praying hands. Um, I love you, my brothers and my sisters. So I will talk at you soon. Bye.